It's about an hour. We have the expert on Knight Capital's disaster that actually really threatened the very existence of that trading operation. Edgar Perez is author of Nightmare on Wall Street, Street spelled K-N-I-G-H-T. Edgar, you were just here yesterday because the book is out. It's brand new. And Goldman Sachs has had a, a bizarre trading glitch in its uh, options area just a day ago. Tell me what you think of what happened today. Well, first of all, I would like to say that I'm pleased that trading resume. I think that's something that couldn't be said a year ago when we had a Facebook IPO. Bob Greifel probably didn't expect to have today. Day. Obviously, it's something that he didn't expect at all. Luckily, he was not on a plane, so they, we can see his people was working hard for at least these three hours to make sure that everything went back. But again, technology is complicated. These issues will happen, unfortunately. But what we have to have here is a resolution in terms of controls in place. And I think that's something that probably NASDAQ and regulators have to work on to avoid things like this happening, not only in exchanges like BATS, like NASDAQ, but also in trade firms like in the case of Nike Capital. But Edgar, you know, look, to, to err is human, to really screw up, it takes a computer. And when you have all of this information all coming in, very complex systems, part of the problem today was the Nasdaq really couldn't kind of push the old reboot reset button because it was so interconnected with all the other exchanges. And so is this just going to be something we have to live with? No, we have to definitely review the technology. As you know, NASDAQ has been in the electronic trading business for 40 years, 1969. So obviously, I'm really surprised that the data feed was something that could be going wrong today. Maybe it was a software glitch. Maybe the data was corrupted. We don't know yet what happened really. And I think mm. there's going to be time for us to review that. But what is really surprising is the NASDAQ, a company that is pri pr very proud of listing huge companies like Facebook, Microsoft, mm -hmm definitely had an issue that probably could have been expected of younger stocks like bats in this case. It was very obvious with Knight that they were trying to start up a brand new trading platform that was electronic. The software hadn't been tested properly. They had nobody watching it and it happened early in the morning. It cost them $400 million and it did, of course, uh, almost cause the death of the, the company, which then had to be taken over by a company called GetGo. Do you think there's something nefarious here, unlike what happened with Knight, which was simply software that hadn't been tested properly? It's really surprising that things like that happen on a day in August when most traders probably are on vacation. It's a slow day, lunchtime. So definitely, I think it's something very strange. But again, technology always has some surprises. And unfortunately, we cannot test the million combinations. What we can do, though, is once we identify these problems to stop trading, which is something they did. To be honest with you, I'm really surprised they opened the trading today. Even if they were not able to impact to analyze what the problem, I would expect the trading to resume tomorrow when they were sure that system will resume normally. Luckily, apparently, they found an error. They were able to restart trading. And I think that's something that they at least should be happy to go home today. Of course, tomorrow, people will be back evaluating again what was the issue and hopefully not repeating this again.